This tutorial is going to be walking you through creating different mastheads for the title of your magazine. Um, there's a couple of different things to think about before you get started. Um, first of all, think about the feel you want your magazine to have. Um, if you wanted your magazine to have a more of a feel like this, where you have the pink, more bubbly font um, that kind of fits with a specific theme compared to the Sports Illustrated or the Reader's Digest that actually looks like the text that you might see inside of a book. Um, so make sure that you're being creative and trying to fit together your masthead with your theme of your magazine. The first thing to think about is the font that you might want for your magazine. If you go to the website defont.com, um, you'll be able to choose from a bunch of different um, font types that you can download. Um, so there's a lot of options there for you. Um, but make sure that you're thinking about a font that will really fit with your magazine. Uh, the next thing to think about is color. What color do you want your masthead to be? Is it more of a bold, bright color that's going to capture your attention? Or is it more of a simple color such as this Reader's Digest um, that's going to fit a little bit more with your image or your um, background of your magazine? So think about the font, the color. Uh, think about the arrangement. Do you want your uh, letters or your uh, word to be a lot closer together, such as Sports Illustrated, where everything's kind of crammed together? Um, both of the lines are even really close together, the top and the bottom line. Or do you want something a little bit more spaced out, such as Vanity Fair, where each of these letters has a lot of space in between? So think about kind of the arrangement of your font, and we'll get to how to do that later. Um, and then think about if you want maybe a drop shadow, on your uh, image or if there's some sort of shape or symbol you want to create in Illustrator that will go along with this. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started working on actually creating a layout for um, a masthead. Starting out in InDesign, I'm going to go to File, New, and then Document. Um, and from here, there's a couple of settings that you should change. Um, first of all, leave your page size at letter um, and make sure that that is uh, spaced out in portrait instead of landscape. Uh, so you can leave all of these settings. What we want to change now is the margin. Um, for the margin, it's set right now at 3 and then picas, but we're going to change this setting to 0.25 inches. So 0.25 in, and then double click on the bottom and type in 0.25 in as well. And then we're going to click this little drop down arrow where it says bleed and slug, and we are going to adjust the bleed of the image, so the outside margin. Um, and I'm going to click on this and type in 0.25 in, and then I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard, and when I hit tab, it will automatically um, update the rest of my bleed. Then I'm just going to hit OK, and this is what your image should look like, so you'll have a bleed going around the outside of your image, um, and then you'll have a little bit of a margin. I'm going to get started now creating the masthead for the magazine. So I'm going to be using the text tool, so I'm clicking on my text here, and then I'm going to um, click at the very top corner and drag across the top of my image. So this is where I want my masthead to fit within. And then I'm going to title my magazine Awesome, so I'm going to type that in. And then to change and adjust the size of the masthead, I'm going to highlight it. And then going up to where at the top of the tool panel where it says 12 point, I'm going to change that to 72 and see how that looks. Um, now that still doesn't fill uh, the width of my page, which I want it to. So if that's the case, you can double click where it says 72 and um, backspace and then type in a number. So we can try 150, see how that looks. And that's too big. So now I will take it down to maybe 125. Still a little bit too big, let's try 100. All right, so 100 seems to fit the best. Um, and then I'm going to type in another text box underneath and I'm going to title um, that part uh, magazine. So I'm just gonna type in magazine here. And I'm going to adjust the size of that as well. All right. So now I have the basics of my masthead. However, it should not look this simple or basic so I want to start to adjust and customize it to make it my own and make it really fit with a theme of a magazine. Um, so I'm going to start out and just change the color of my font. So I'm going to double click to um, re-highlight where it says awesome here. 
And then I'm going to go over to the tool panel on the right and click where it says color. Then I'm going to change this little drop down menu to CMYK so I have more colors to choose from. And then I'm going to select a color. So if I click off of this, you can see that um, I changed my uh, color to blue here. If I highlight that and adjust a stroke so I have more of a border around the outside, um, that could also help to create more interest within my image here. So I can choose a different color for my stroke by clicking on this T that has just the solid outline. The fill would be the T that has the um, fill, the blue filled in inside of the T. And then again, the stroke or the outline is just the one with the outline here. So I can adjust that and maybe make it a green color. And if I click off of this, you can see um, a little bit of that green start to show up. But I'm going to adjust the weight of the stroke a little bit more so it's more obvious. Um, so now you can really see that green. Um, another adjustment that I might make is creating an italicized version of this. So if I click this little drop down menu on the left, instead of the regular font, I can make it italic so it might be slanted a little bit. Um, you can play around with some of these other uh, settings, see if that does anything for your image, but I'm going to keep mine at italic for now. One of the other things that you can adjust is the actual font. So in the upper left-hand corner above where I adjusted it to italic is all of the different uh, font types here that you can choose from. Um, so go ahead and play around with that and see which font you like the best. Uh, you can also go to dafont.com and find some customizable fonts that might be um, a little bit more creative or fit with your theme a little bit better. The next thing I'm going to do is adjust the spacing between my letters. Um, so the spacing is adjusted by using this little button here that has the V with the slash through it, and this is called kerning. Kerning is something that is, again, adjusting the space between each of my letters. So if I wanted my A and W to be a lot closer together, I can click on this button again with the V and the A and bring that button down to kind of move my A and W. So maybe I want those overlapping each other a little bit. Um, so I'm going to make it so the A and W are almost combined, so the W creates that edge of the um, A. And then with my E and W, I can again adjust that spacing, maybe make it a little bit closer so that corner touches. Um, you might find also that this isn't necessarily something that will work for your masthead, and that's okay. Um, or maybe you would want more spacing between some of your letters. So it depends on what you're going for, whether you would want to use a lot of the uh, kerning here, this option. Um, but I would experiment with it and see what it can do for uh, your title, make it a little bit more interesting. Now that I have my uh, title spaced how I want it to be, I notice there's a lot of extra room on the right here. So a couple things I could do. First of all, I can make this a little bit bigger. So maybe I'll try 115 and see uh, if that helps a little bit, but there still is a little bit of space over on the right. Um, so something else I can do is center my masthead. So if I highlight it and then come over to the uh, tool panel at the top and then click this button that says align center, I can align uh, the top part of my magazine to be centered. Um, and now I want to adjust this second word. So where it says magazine, I'm gonna work on editing that part a little bit to fit with my theme. Um, while I'm editing the second word magazine, I'm going to make this stretch all the way out to the far right here to the edge of where um, awesome is so that these two really line up together. Um, so I want the spacing between all of my letters to be the same so it's spaced out and fits the same exact width as my title where it says awesome. Um, so to do this, I'm going to be highlighting my word magazine. And I'm going to be using the tracking this time. So instead of kerning, which is adjusting the individual spacing in between just one letter, I'm going to use the tracking button, um, which is adjusting the spacing between all of my letters. So it's keeping all of my letters spaced out evenly. Um, so again, kerning is if I'm just adjusting an individual space. But since I know that I want the same exact space between all of my letters in magazine, I'm going to be using tracking for this, and I'm just going to bring this spacing up, so I'm clicking this arrow here, and I'm just going to keep clicking it until my magazine spaces all the way out and fits um, where I want it to and lines up with the rest of my uh, awesome title. 
A couple of other uh, edits that you can make to this smaller part where it says magazine here is first of all maybe making it bold so it might fill that space a little bit more so I'm gonna click on um, bold here. Uh, as you're working you can also maybe adjust the color and change that so the same thing we did uh, you're clicking on color on the far right um, and choosing a color for uh, this magazine part here so right now I have the stroke so if I wanted to select a color for the fill, I would do that um, T that has the entire thing colored in. Then I'm going to click CMYK so I have more colors to choose from. Maybe I'll choose a dark blue for this. What you are going to be doing is for this um, small assignment here is creating three different mastheads. So I have one done. Um, for my other two, I want to make sure that they're different. And the reason why I'm asking you to create three mastheads is so that you have a lot to choose from. Um, when you have everything put together for your final magazine cover, one of these titles might look better than another, and it's not necessarily always your first one that's the best. So as you keep going, you're going to learn more and more of what works well and what doesn't. Um, so make sure you're creating at least three different mastheads on this to turn in um, for a grade. But as you're uh, creating your other three, there's a couple of other things that you could experiment with. The first thing you can try is adding a couple different effects to your image. So I'm going to click um, on my box here where, and where I have awesome highlighted, and I'm going to click with two fingers. And then I'm going to go down to where it says effects, and you can try a couple of different things. First of all, there's a drop shadow you can experiment with. Um, and if you click this preview button here, if you check that off, um, it'll pop up to give you the option of creating um, your drop shadow so you can actually see in real time what it looks like. You can change the angle of your drop shadow, so maybe I want it um, going to the left side over here. I can change the spread of it, so maybe I want it to be a little bit um, thicker or stand out a little bit more here. Uh, so there's a couple of things you can play around with for that. You can also take down the opacity so it's not as dark or obvious, and I'm going to hit OK. Um, I'm going to click with two fingers and go back to effects, and something that usually works pretty well is bevel and emboss is something you can experiment with, so it's going to add some dimension to your uh, masthead here. So again, have that preview box checked off so you can see what's going on, but um, just experiment with some of these different, um, different effects. And as you click on them, you can see what they'll kind of do for your image. And when you're happy with what you have, you can click OK, and then um, move on and create your second two um, mastheads. So again, go ahead and get started. Create three different mastheads. You can create them all on this one document is fine, um, and then export it to save as a JPEG and turn back into Classroom to get credit for having these three done. Um, as you're working on them, think about using different font, different color, different text. Um, and really be creative, make sure that they all look very different from each other.